We go begin Nigerian air with three aeroplanes. Minister of Aviation, I'm talking this one. Federal Executive Council don't approve seven different memoranda from seven different ministries, departments, and agencies of government. This approval is scheduled for the Federal Executive Council meeting when it lasts for five hours. Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Ola Milekon Adegbite, come here and say government will bring investors when go help boost the mining industry for Nigeria. Whatever you mine, even if you are unable as the miner to process, we are inviting investors, we are having people who will build processing plants. This uh, government of President Buhari, post-COVID, granted some funds, and this fund is being used as demonstration project for this mineral processing policy. In Bauchi State, for instance, we are building a processing plant for kaolin. We have a lot of kaolin around Bauchi. We have a similar thing in uh, Ebony State, where we have, we have done uh, a lead processing plant. We are doing a barite processing plant in Cross River State. We have a gold processing plant in Kogi, in Ibadan. It's the gemstones market where we we'll add value to the gemstones that we find in Nigeria before they are exported. It talks say government don't build something where Gohele process gold for Kanu to jewelries. The golds that mine locally in Nigeria will be processed in the Kanu gold souk. Had the city can be minister for aviation, cut talk say them go start Nigeria air with three aeroplanes. We are starting with three aircraft for the first instance to do the runs and then we progress. Um, as to the make and type, most of them are either Airbus or they are Boeing, especially for the intercontinental and international flights. And this will start as domestic airline and then would of course grow to become regional and international are also intercontinental. Minister of Information, Alaji Lai Mohamed, contact say council don't approve the purchase of 32 operational vehicles for National Drug Law Enforcement Agency when people say as NDLE. The final memo which I'm presenting on behalf of the Attorney General is the one which the council approved for the NDLE to purchase some 32 operational vehicles to enhance their operation. I'm sure we've all noticed that uh, there has been an improved uh, performance on the part of NDLA in the last couple of months. Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs don't still get approval to implement the standard operating procedure for asylum seekers when they come from Cameroon. Every day, because of the uh, proximity of Cameroon to Nigeria, we've witnessed an influx of um, refugees, you know, seeking asylum and uh, of course under international regulations there are certain procedures you must take to ensure that those who claim to be asylum seekers are actually not you know insurgents you know themselves that have come to destabilize nigeria or people who come and be launching attack against their own country from the comfort of nigeria omwa luke ajakaye tmctv news